What is going on, YouTube people? Neil Kaiser Comics here today for Marvel Anime Volume 2. Uh, set very much was looking forward to. I missed the boat on Marvel Anime 1. Uh, I was not really back in full-fledged to Marvel cards when Volume 1 came out. It was a full Peach Momoko set. I have since gone back and picked up some singles from that, but I always regret not ripping it. Uh, this is Volume 2. We have a mixed match of artists, but there are some heavy hitters in here. Fairly affordable product. Um, 150-ish, I think, a box on these. Some really cool stuff in here. The booklets are one of the bigger hits. Those are redemptions. There's artist autographs. There's inserts. Uh, there's all sorts of nonsense, but... The artwork on this set looks really, really good. I am excited to get into this. This box is from my friends over at Upper Deck, fresh off the FedEx truck. I have personally purchased a case. Yes, that's right, a case. Uh, I purchased one full master case. I got a really good deal on it, so I went ahead and snagged it. Uh, there are two half cases in there, or two uppers rather. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do, if I'm going to rip the full case or just rip a single upper. We'll see. Uh, but we are going to be opening a lot of this. I'll probably do some on some live streams. Uh, we'll see what's going on. But I have a lot of this product coming, and I'm excited for it. Um, I think the set looks really good. I want to put a set together. I may want to chase some parallel sets. We will see. Set the box off there to the side. So, five cards per pack, 16 packs per box, 16 boxes per full case or eight per each individual inner. You get, uh, the chases are one, art, one art, artist autograph, if I could talk, or a wood block card per box. Uh, there are some thatched foils, some Mega Moon foils, capsule cards, a bunch of different inserts. And then on the case hits, like I said, we have the booklet cards. There's some other autographs, some SPs, uh, a lot of SPs and stuff in this set. So right off the get, we have ourselves a stack. So if you're not familiar with this, uh, it takes three cards to make the actual card. This is the first level, the base level, and then there will be two acetate cards that lay on top of it to fill up the whole thing. So that is our stack. We will make a insert pile here i guess and then here are the base cards let me give you guys a little zoom zoom hold on everybody so uh the other weird thing about these packs are the hits on the top so i don't know that's a little weird from a product opening standpoint uh, but here are the base cards the artwork on some of these is absolutely gorgeous there's a gamora i believe that is uh rose yep rose besh did that one so it does say the artist on the back which i'm a big fan of uh, there's Mockingbird. Some of the artists I'm familiar with, some I am not, but this will obviously all be in a anime style line. So if you're into that sort of thing, this set is for you. I get that it is not for everybody. So once again, our hit is on the front. So we're going to know, I almost want to, is there a better way to do this? Let's try it this way. A little Spider Woman action. Rescue Pepper Pots. Little bullseye. And our insert is one of the parallels, it looks like. We got an Iceman. This is the. Let's say what it is does not sometimes they say on the back i'm guessing this is the thatched you get four of these per box so cool looking parallel there once again i'm going to play the shuffle game oh we got a ghost spider in this one so here is the ghost spider this is also rose Saw Justin, my pal Justin, hit the autographed version of this card. Really like the artwork on that one. Or set that one off to the side since it's since it's a Gwenner. Little Groot. 
crystal. I'm going to go a little slower on these just because the artwork is really good. I don't know what this is. Oh, we hit a booklet. Nice. We hit one of the booklets. Awesome. So this is not the autographed version. So there's an autographed version and a regular booklet version. And like I said, the booklets, to give you an example, that is what like the X-Men booklet looks like. That four panel. So that's cool. Super excited to hit that. Now we don't know what we're getting, obviously, so we'll have to see. My one critique, Upper Deck, if you're watching, is, is don't put the hit in the front of the pack. It makes for less dramatic box openings. You're going to shuffle stuff around. Captain Marvel, that's definitely Rose. I know Rose's art worked very well. I have a couple comic covers with her on it. Or with her artwork on it, rather. Nebula, and here is our thatched. We got a dagger. So strong start hitting a booklet. And I will be redeeming that for sure. Hercules. Lockjaw. A lot of cool characters in this set. That's a really nice looking Moon Knight. And there's the collector. Hits. Once again, I don't know. Oh, this is the this is Wolverine's journal, I think it's called. Or Journey. Yeah, Wolverine's Journey. That is one of the inserts that you could potentially hit. All right. Quicksilver. Storm. I really like that storm. Cap. Cool looking cap. And I'm guessing this is a mega moon of magic. Oh, this is the Japanese. I think these are harder to hit if my memory is correct. So this is an, uh, the Japanese Mega Moon Parallel. I'm actually going to sleeve this one. I'll check the uh, hit average on that when we get to the end. This is probably going to be a little bit of a longer box opening than normal just because I kind of want to take my time and really just look at the base cards because I do like the artwork a lot on these. So I'm purposely going a little bit slower. Really nice mystique. That Vindicator, oh, Stingray. I thought that was Vindicator for a second. Cyclops, that's Rose too, yeah. And it looks like we have another Mega Moon, and this one is Ronin. And this is probably just the regular. Oh no, that's one of the Japanese ones too. Maybe all the Mega Moons are Japanese based. Some of those are short printed, I know. I know like the Gwen is uh, SP or an SSP, uh, because I've seen them on eBay and they are pretty pricey. All right, Sabretooth, that great looking Sabretooth. Who is that? Is that, yeah, Lee. I have uh, quite a few variant covers of his stuff as well. Falcon, old Luke Cage action. We got another thatched here, US agent. So we still haven't hit either our Wood parallel or our autograph. Black Panther. Another Ronin. Professor X. And then, okay, we hit another stack here. Oh, the Spider Man one. Nice. So, like I was talking about earlier, this is one of, I don't know if this is the middle one or the top one of the stack cards. And then these stack on top of each other to make one full card. So, Spider Man one's a pretty good one to hit. And we should be hitting a capsule card as well at some point in time. I think those are one per box as well. I really like that Kitty Pride. 
Cosmic Ghost Rider. Ant Man. Loki. Looking like a little punk. And what do we got here? One of the insert sets. Lucky to Pizza Dog. Oh, all right. We got so. Oh, this is probably the capsule card. So we got Gore the God Butcher. And yeah, this is our capsule card. We got Cosmic Level Secret Wars. And ooh, what? That's great looking Gore the God Butcher. Wow. So if you're not familiar with these, there is a smaller card inside here you tear this open and then i i don't know if it's guaranteed to be one of those three or but we'll set that to the side for now i've never really gone crazy for the capsule cards ultron i like that rogue old black bolt Lucky. What do we got here? Power level. So this is another insert set. So a little over nine thousand action there. A little DBZ reference. All right, we got another stack card in here because it felt like the front card was really thin. There's a dagger. U.S. agent. Iceman, we got Howard to Duck on top. And then our other stack card is game time. I got Iron Man and Cap. Three packs left. Should still, I think the only really crazy thing that we're looking for is um, a woodblock or an auto. Oh, I like that, Miss Marvel. Ronin action. Who is that? Oh, Malaketh. Wow. Didn't even recognize him. Wonder Man. And another thatched. Little Howard to Duck action. I'm guessing this is our wood block. That's my guess. That, that one feels different. And the wood blocks are the original art from. Set one. Cool looking hella. Daredevil. Medusa. And insert set again. Komono Muko. Power to deck. All right, last pack. Wood block time. I assume this is the wood block. Feels like it. Yeah, it is. All right, we'll just do the uh, flip over reveal because I think it's just this card and the wood block in the set. These can be autographed. That one's not. So that is Bishop on the wood block. And then we got the Iron Fist. So that is that. And it is like legitimately a block of wood with it on there. So the wood blocks are on average one per box or you get an auto. And all the artwork off these is from series one. So they are all peach. And I have seen some of these autographed. So cool set, fun rip. Excited to hit the booklet. That was the big uh, hit of the box for sure. Some of this stuff might be short prints. I'll have to go back through and double check it. But expect to see some more of this on the channel. That's all I got for you, boys and girls. We will catch you on the next one. Peace.